What, what up, fam? fam? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Dale. And I'm Jack. And before we get into much today, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we drop good eats like these. Welcome back. It's such a treat. Grab your plate, fam. Come on. Let's eat. Before we get into much, make sure you check out the description box down below to get you 10% <laughs> off your code. Just using the coupon code. Codes. Bird. He, he trying to sit up. You alright, Dr. Well, babe, can you let them know what we got on the menu? We <laughs> Sausage, rice, and cucumbers, plus the bronze, king crab, and bae, got some burritos. That's it, that's all. How y'all doing? What y'all eating on? Let us know down below. Simple and to the point. Yes. Y'all, I am tired. It's a very gloomy day. Down, down the grease. Did you say something about the coldest water bottle? Yes. Oh, I did. Yes. Y'all, anybody else kids cut up when it's raining outside, like, just be cranky. Yes. Adonis only wants to sleep when it's raining outside. So. It's like he has a ooh. barometer or something. Up. Oh. Well, outside messed up. I need to be sleep. So he is kind of busting. So I just lost my whole trains of thought. We got some more of that Grill King crab, y'all. Y'all gonna see it till I get tired. It should be never because you love real food. I can say that is so crazy. I love real food. I'm not about to eat with that. Uh, Mm. I eat my sausages. Because you were the one that said you wanted to eat the whole thing. <laughs> and the whole sausage. So. Okay, one night. Really? Yeah. They open that state back up. Shimmer. What they call it, the safer stay at home. Mm-hmm. Safer stay in place. Mm-hmm. Because they weren't anticipating the effect it was gonna have on them local business in the economy and a lot of local businesses were feeling like the place they got to stay open were the winners and the ones that got shut down were the losers mm -hmm. so when they opened up the beach mm -hmm. still got to stay six feet apart still can't get yeah. a ten or more still no church but Gotta wear a mask. You can you can gather in the parking lot in your cars. In your cars, mm-hmm. And we gotta wear a mask now. Mm-hmm. Like mandatory. She said well, no, she said it's not a mandate, she said but it's highly recommended. Mm-hmm. But we over here. We're gonna let them We ain't going out there. Wave one. I'm going out there. This is so good. For real? This clean crab was good. I had to try it. Before I put the sauce on it. You know my MO. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we're not going out there. We're gonna keep doing with it. Hmm. We're doing. A lot of people's upset because church was still closed. Mm-hmm. But y'all don't know. Even though they are big churches, there's no way for everybody to go to church and be six feet apart. No. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And how would you dictate who got to come in and be six feet apart? Mm-hmm. We get in, we fit in, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. So it's just being fair. So a lot of people are just saying we should have just stayed closed. If everything was going to open, we should have stayed closed, which I agree. We still can't go in restaurants and sit down. I don't agree with that because at least with the business being open, there are places right now that are closed that people are waiting to open up. Mm-hmm. In those places, even with their stay in place orders, they could still be able to maintain good business. Like the beauty supply store, even with four in that time, they had a line right around the corner. Mm-hmm. The nail salons, barber shops, and hair, sh hair salons. Still closed. Mm-hmm. Are still closed. Close just, contact, so we still can't get our eyebrows. And, I just knew I was gonna be able to call Randall. Mm-mm. Close. So yeah, we open, but we ain't open. Some people say they stay at home order till May thirty. That's what I figured I was gonna wind up being. I haven't heard about a lot of people, you know, opening up. Because mm -mm. us in Georgia. Guinea pigs. Mm-hmm. Well, I ain't finna be the science experiment. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, no. If I would know you were gonna put more butter in there like I had eggs, I probably would say back to all Hmm. I said if I wasn't knowing you were actually going to add more blood in there, I probably would say cook the whole thing. Mm. I don't add that much more. Even with this, your cup is on the countertop. But even with that, I was able to put what was left over in the container. Mm, the sauce. The container is full. Mm. Yes, you got to go downstairs and get it though. Put your cup down. Put your cup down first. So yeah. I see what you're saying, but we wasn't ready. Well, just because it's open doesn't mean you gotta go there. Mm hmm. That's the part that people don't understand. Just because somebody says open, that don't mean you're running off. So like at home. You can't pay people to stay at home. Mm mm. Not everybody, but some people just aren't happy. They pay them to stay at home. And then open back up because they still couldn't take it no more. You, can, you can't pay them. <laughs> so they didn't have to go for me a little money. <laughs> stay up and go outside. I'm ready to go. That's crazy. A lot of people saying it's about money. It is. Yeah, it is. Because the time is crazy. Okay. I hope people still pay their bills. On everything. That's and they hurt. did it right, yes. Mm hmm. Cause in a few months, when it's over, over, and you ain't got nothing else to get on that back end, 
I see. Stay home. Oh no, I was talking about I hope we hope you pay their bills. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Cause in a few months. That'll be tragic, tragic, tragic. Yeah. I'm not gonna be nice at all. Um. Nope. And can't come crying. Cause you got extra money to help bridge the gap until your regular pay kicks back up. Yep, they got it. Even if you didn't. Well. What if you didn't though? What if you I ain't talking about the one that didn't get it. But I'm just, now that we're talking about it, I'm just thinking like, what if they didn't? I'm talking about the one that, I'm talking about the one that's playing around, not the ones who still are, are even with the stimulus are all having authentic problems. I'm talking about the ones Right, that's that what I'm around. talking about. What they supposed to do, I'm saying, what about the other people like? What are they doing? They're the ones that will sadly be like putting their bills off and then by the time they go back to work they're pretty much gonna be working to pay bills until so some their stimulus people, actually comes. Right, because some people really did miss out. Mm-hmm. And they've been, you know, off. Because of deadlines. And unemployment been busy. What's oh, like? And sister been messed up. Mm-hmm. Well, hello, people. Yeah. But if you had the means. That's what we talking about. To pay your bitch up. I hope you them. So it's not gonna be good. Mm -mm. Not gonna be friendly, not gonna be kind. When tax man come, tax man won't hit you. Mm -hmm. And if they open up your state and you are going out there, please be safe. Mm hmm Keep your hands washed. Cause you don't know what next person being. Keep your hands out your face. I would say we really- Out your mouth. It's going to be no visitors for real, for real, because it's now that it's open and people is, you know, going all over the place. I really didn't trust nobody now. I really don't trust nobody cause it's like, where you been? Have you been properly washing your hands? Mm -hmm. I'll eat the bowl. Mm -mm. It's gonna be enough. Good. It was good. And I know y'all probably ready to see like some home cooked food, but. What is this, chop loop? I'm tired. This ain't home. This ain't home. <laughs> From them. I mean, you see, so, um, me, you see me boys on the deep boy marinade for like four, five days. Okay, that's okay. That's the ribs. I'm saying we still sausage, rice, and cucumbers. That's not a home cooked meal. That's a snack. Oh, we did eat them on camera. You just, I mean, you was you home cooked sold out. Cause you did okay, deep I'm soul just, food like Thanksgiving Day type soul food two, two times time. back to back and didn't record either. I was like, I'm tired. And I haven't been having the taste for anything. But it's still cream pearl. I've been having a taste for beef lately. 
the porch, I know. The porch I've done, they took me out of game. But that was that was the first time, because I remember we, I'm always the one, no, nah, I can eat any food any time. It's like pork chops now, I have been in the mood to eat those, all right? Mm-hmm. That's why after yesterday video, I thought about it. The last three videos where we had pork chops, I only ate one. Mm-hmm, every time. And that's just about the only thing I ate. I get burnt out on chewing. It can't be like that, though. You try to tune because it's thick. But your mouth spread through it more easier though. With the pork chop? Mm hmm. But I'm getting bored though. That was going back home. I was going to do 10 pounds. It's not going to probably ship that and do the seafood. You know, the two times of cheese noodles. A couple of people was asking us to talk about how. Mm -hmm. So, we to talk about how to start YouTube, but. That's kind of a loaded question, though, because it's a little different for every niche market. Because I know me, I don't just like dive off deep into anything, so I use a research term. Mm -hmm. And different markets require like different equipment. Sure. Because yeah, you can start on your phone, but you also want to make sure that whatever you're putting out, whatever niche you're in, mm -hmm. that the content level is at least at a basic of even people that you're your beginning phase because prime example you don't want to get into a niche market where people enjoy longer videos that aren't cut up and you're cutting your videos because you're saying oh people want to see dead space so part of how to start youtube is do your research and watch those research. and follow those do your research, take notes, and don't be afraid really, of that yes. <coughs> and in you can just like you can Google anything, you can YouTube search anything, but you gotta make sure ask yourself why are you starting YouTube? Like, what's your what's your goal? Are you doing it for the money? Are you doing it because you got a message, you know, that you want to be fame, heard? whatever reason. You just want to release, hobby, whatever the case may be. You need to identify. Dig it out. Because YouTube is fun and all, but at the same time, it does take effort to be on this camera. Everybody thinks it's, oh, it's so easy. No, it, it does take, sometimes you have to drag yourself to do it mm -hmm. because like, even when you, once you get used to being behind the camera, even when you're not feeling well, you miss chopping up with your folks. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, more often than not, by not wanting to disappoint those who have come to depend on you for whatever kind of reason, you muster through it. Mm -hmm. You know, you persevere. So. But you trying to put some milk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I should have had some um, salt and pimples, salt and vinegar. So identifying and knowing and always remembering why you started YouTube. Mm -hmm. That can help pick you up in those days where you need a little bit of extra pick me up. Because every day is not going to be guns and roses. Hey, what up, guy? Because we still humans behind the camera, so life is still going on. Mm -hmm. All type of stuff. Mm -hmm. And if you're gonna do it for the money, it ain't gonna work. Because the money is <laughs> work. And the work. way to get the money is work. And 
the way to get the money is work. And the way to get the money is work very significantly every year. Every year the algorithm changes. Mm -hmm. Every year <laughs> the rules change. The requirements change. All that. So there are a myriad of things and especially that especially lately they've been making it harder and harder. They've been putting a bigger barrier to entry. Um and where you at? I'm gonna get ready to go, y'all. We're gonna pick this up mm -hmm. again later. But the more of the story on how to start is Identify make sure you're doing why it for the right way. Mm -hmm. Just or just make sure it's for the right reasons and not for the money. I can't really say that because there are people that are on not top right now. Reason, but there are people that are on top now that started right. out and said they were only they only were doing YouTube for the money, and with them focusing on YouTube for the money, mm -hmm. they were able to chase their goal. I mean, then some of them may have wavered and giving up some things in order to do that but you just you gotta identify why you want to do it that's true you gotta be truthful and honest with yourself because you can't lie to anybody else. you can lie to everybody else but you can't lie to yourself when you look at yourself in the mirror and you can't lie on this camera because people is gonna see it the kids cutting up y'all i forgot what i was saying construction workers yes <laughs> But the more of the story is, oh, we were talking about whether it's the right reason or starting with the money. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Some people have been successful that started for the money. Mm -hmm. And still are on the city that like, no, it's yeah. not. If it ain't but about you the money. Gotta, I would say, but you gotta have some kind of spark or drive, you know, to do it. Oh, we were talking about don't be being fake. Oh. That's what we were saying, cause people is gone. They gonna um, peep it. Yeah, they're gonna peep it. You have to be yourself. Be true to yourself and don't know try who to be you anybody are. else. Yes, because people You're not gonna see. prosper and grow because if you try to be someone else eventually that kind that rope's gonna come to an end of you being someone else. Mm hmm You know what I mean? You can't not be your if you're bright and bubbly, you're not bright and bubbly self and people not notice. You know what I mean? Because it takes more to suppress something than it does to let it out. Mm -hmm. And people can tell when you hold when you holding in, holding back, and holding out. Yeah. But once you figure all that out, definitely after your research, you can use a good old camera. Mm -hmm. Just old start phone. recording videos, and not just like one video. Do you like? You should like about about ten. seven to ten. About ten. If you can get twenty. You really want to do it, but just try to before you even start posting. Try to record ten. about ten videos because you want, because especially with starting out, it's good to have a buffer because with having a buffer, you can get used to in in the habit of responding to comments, hearting comments, getting mm -hmm. the, your editing and things like that. Because you with having those ten videos. Seven is a week. Ten is a week and a half. Yep. So having a week and a half where the video you is already, already done, you already ahead. Even if you record one time a day, you're already a week and a half. Ahead. So even if you get sick, or okay. Now we still we still a week, two days ahead. Oh man, I just didn't feel like two days. You still a week ahead. Mm -hmm. If you give yourself that buffer, when life happens, you got way more wiggle room. <laughs> And you walk then to a good start. Hanging yourself on your own rope. Mm hmm. But record about 10 videos. Then start posting. And once you start posting, don't stop. Stay consistent. Mm -hmm. Consistent. Consistent. Consistency is key. But that's why I be feeling like it's nothing. I don't know, it's nothing we can tell y'all, but it's not a lot we can tell y'all because everybody it stay the same different. thing. And it works different for everyone. It really, really does because things that people say, like that they've done, when we do them, they don't work. Because also, another thing, back to what we were just talking about, people like to see 
what you like. Yeah. What makes you happy, what makes you vibrant, what makes you pop. But I'm saying even as far as the algorithm, like some people can put zero tags in their video and it do numbers. And I can put 10 to 500 million tags and my video do a, a 10 of what that video did. But that's also because you gotta see once you once you in the algorithm, as long as you keep adding yeah. to your traction, you shouldn't fall out. Yeah. So once someone has That's that really one what video, YouTube is about though the get, algorithm. Yes, the algorithm got to say it got to see you. It's once the algorithm you. actually sees you, it's a wrap. <clears throat> and then some people, some people have burst growth. Some mm -hmm. people have steady and consistent growth. Some, Some people, people have, have spikes. Go up, slow down. Go up, slow down. Shoot up, slow down. You know, so everyone's growth Everybody track is journey different. Everybody's journey is different. So yeah. that's another thing we saw on YouTube. Do not look at the next person's. Do not and judge yourself based on what, what they, they doing, doing, what they video doing, what the audience saying, all that. Because them worry people about came there you. for them. Yep, worry about and you. And they came there for them at a different time than what you trying to do. You gotta see. Some people can eat a bowl of cereal and they be like, yeah, yeah a bowl of cereal. Yeah, some people eat a bowl of cereal and they be like, what food is What a crab leg. <laughs> but then some people eat crab legs. They're like, no, I don't want to see you with crab legs. I you eat a bowl of cereal. <laughs> I want to see you with burgers, or I want to see you with real. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's why I said what what makes your soul. Because people, even though you can't see someone's energy, a person's mood is you know it kind of is indicative of how they're feeling. Yes, that's why I say you. Whatever you want to figure out why what I mean, figure out what you want to do and why you want to do it, or why you want to do it, and what you want to do. <clears throat> Whatever the picking them two at the same time. Cause you need to know why I want to start YouTube and what am I gonna do on YouTube. And what's gonna keep me going on YouTube. Yeah. But I know y'all hear them kids, aka construction workers getting rowdy rowdy. So we're about to get ready to go. Yes, we will pick it up somewhere in the future. If you made it this far and you got some more questions, leave them down below. I'm hollering because they're getting louder and louder because they sound like they can hear me. So, before we get out of here, our fam shout out. Go to these people right here. Shout out to y'all. Thank y'all for subscribing and coming on our video. If you want to shout out like them, all you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell, and oh, come here when we post a video and leave us some comments down below. So yes, so we love y'all. Thank y'all for watching and until next time. Okay, then also love we all guys. learn differently. We're gonna talk about learning differently. Sure. Because when you ask about how to start YouTube, I can't tell you how to start YouTube without knowing how you grasp things because you're a hands-on person, I can direct you to one set of resources than if you were an auditory learner mm -hmm. or a visual learner. You know, knowing how you learn also helps you be able to really encompass and captivate what you need to do in your spirit and in your essence when you're doing something like YouTube. True. So if you made it this far, we're definitely gonna continue this conversation. Let us know down below. Or if you got something else that you want to ask us or want us to talk about topic, marriage, money, family, anything, let us know down below. But we're gonna go, y'all, for real. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.